Can Asian men be passport bros? Let's talk about it. Passport bros is a term that describes the privilege of American men, normally white or black, being seen as more desirable overseas due to one's nationality. The perceived passport privilege can sometimes lead to assumptions that Western men, particularly those from the USA or Europe, are seen as superior and makes foreign women more attracted to them. But for Asian men, this doesn't apply in the same way. When traveling, Asian men aren't assumed to be American or associated with a culture of imperialist tendencies, military conquests, or the sexual domination through war brides. When we Asian men are overseas, no one automatically assumes that this Asian man in their country is American. It's the actual opposite. People always assume we're from China, Japan, Korea, and the like. Even then, historically, America hasn't placed Asians as sexually desirable above other ethnic groups, making the passport bro phenomenon less apparent for Asian men. But does that mean Asian men can't enjoy their own form of overseas appeal? Absolutely not. Instead of relying on the strength of the American passport, many Asian men find appeal through the soft power of their Asian heritage. We're talking about the influence of Asian pop culture, the allure of Eastern philosophies, and yes, the K-pop aesthetic that's become increasingly popular. Their experiences abroad often vary significantly. Let me share some anecdotes to illustrate this. One of my students, a Vietnamese national, was approached by an American woman while we were traveling and he had a successful romance with her. Did his third world Southeast Asian passport privilege somehow trump her white first world privilege? His appeal to her wasn't based on any presumed Western advantage, but simply on his own individual charm. Or when a group of us Asian men were on the VIP Euro tour, we were approached by a cute white woman with a blonde pixie bob cut who specifically asked each of us if we were Filipino. She was eager to seduce a man from a Southeast Asian background. Again, this wasn't a case of Western passport privilege, but an attraction to specific Asian nationality and aesthetic that was projected from a poor third world Southeast Asian country. And during my time in Brazil, I was approached by Brazilian women who were intrigued by my Asian heritage, specifically asking if I was Japanese or Japanese. This was thanks to the positive image of the Japanese community in Sao Paulo, the city with the largest Japanese population outside of Japan. This highlights an alternative narrative to the passport bro concept. For Asian men, whether they're from the East or the West, their appeal abroad isn't necessarily tied to the historical privilege of colonialism, imperialism, and racism that place Westerners at the top and everyone else at the bottom. Think of the worldwide popularity of K-pop, the global influence of anime, and the rising economies of Asian countries. This soft power has shifted the global perception of Asian men, and the appeal of the Asian male aesthetic has started to transcend borders. So while Asian men might not be passport bros in the traditional sense, we definitely carry a unique form of attraction when traveling abroad. What's your take on this? And if you want to learn more about our VIP Euro Tour, which is the number one inner game experiential event for Asian men, or the Latin Tour World War Romance Adventure, where you can travel safely, date beautiful, high-quality women, and maybe even marry them like Silver or other students have done, check the link below to fill out our coaching form. Until next time. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun in-field pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.